Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. If you are one of our Instagram followers at Sister Circle TV, you've had a chance to get, a, get to get to know all of us a little bit better thanks to our IG stories. And some of you also have a few questions for us. So let's answer a few of them right now. Let's do it. <laughs> and the first one is from at Chantel Varner who asks, who, ladies, uh -huh. is your greatest inspiration? Ooh. I'll go. Robin Roberts. Okay, is my greatest inspiration. If I had to, you know, pick someone in the public eye. And then uh, over the weekend, she was posting about, uh, over the break, she was posting about how three years ago she got this ESPY award uh, because we know she's battled cancer and mm -hmm. has won uh, the battle. And I actually tweet, I commented her, uh, commented on her page, and I was like, you've been my idol since you came to my eighth grade basketball banquet. And I went, went on to found a foundation. Mm -hmm. I had a sports uh, background and, and radio and television. And now I'm one of the co-hosts of Sister Circle. And she responded, <gasps> so proud of you. I was like, oh, oh my God. God. Robert Roberts is, is, is my She's inspiration. Dope too. Yeah, She's yes. Dope. Anybody else? Uh, okay. Uh, well, I'm like a self-motivated type of girl. Mm -hmm. uh, I have I've been inspired by many people mm -hmm. um, on a day-to-day -day basis. I mean, you guys inspire me all the time with different things. Uh, I would say the Lord mm -hmm. is my greatest inspiration. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if I had to pick like music, for me, music inspiration would be Mary J. Blige. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Uh, and Qu Mary J. Blige and Queen Latifi. I know mm -hmm. th those are my two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Simply because Mary has been through a, a lot of yes, stuff yes, and, yes, and yes. has stayed strong mm -hmm. and stayed successful and made it through these things with great records yeah. and, and resilience and sustainability. And I, you know, I want my career to be like that. Mm -hmm. I want it to be constantly moving. She's worked with everyone. She's mm -hmm. done movies. She's, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? She stayed the course yeah. through all of the opposition. And to me, that's inspiring. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then just got honored at, you know, the BT Awards. Mm -hmm. St still turning up. Mm -hmm. She was turning up. So <laughs> Mary and Queen Latifah. Nice, mm -hmm. nice. Very Ms. Kuala. Yeah. Who is yours? Well, at this point, everybody will know. It's my father. Oh, yes, yeah. of yeah. course. Yeah. Just everything that he's taught me, uh, the sense of self-worth, self-value, and to be resilient. Mm -hmm. And I, I gathered all, all of that from him. So yeah. I would have to say my father. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Uh, oh, I have I have a, a, a kindergarten class full of people who have inspired yeah, me and situations that have mm -hmm. inspired me. But I say that today, at this moment right now, Rashawn Ali inspires me. Oh, that's oh, so awesome! Uh -uh. You're trying to make her cry down to the circle. I am she not. Is very inspiring, though. You know, she tries she has to do been everything so transparent. Right. She's been she, going yeah. through, you know, her situations really and going through therapy. Been absolutely transparent about that. The way you have grown. Uh, sporty girls, and you're just just staying true to yourself. You're pursuing mm -hmm. yourself right now, and that mm -hmm. is inspiring. So I celebrate you right yeah. now. Yeah, and you know the good thing about Rashawn, <laughs> if you can ask anyone who's ever been in the path of Rashawn, and they will say the exact same yes. thing uh, and that she is an amazing woman, and they, encouraging when yes, other people have yes, a yucky day. Yes. It's just it's true. You're you're, you're my amaze balls right now. It's true. Absolutely. It's Thank true, you, ladies. Okay, oh she's God. doing good. Oh my God. All right, let's move on. We got uh, queens and things. She wants to know uh, what what are the keys to success? Ooh, ooh. Uh, I say the first one is never giving up. Right. And not listening to the naysayers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you will fail 100% of the time if you don't try. Mm-hmm. That's good, so, Trina. Come on now, you snap mm -hmm. right there. Yeah, think yeah. like real fast. You uh, snap. For me, I would say extreme focus. You know, having a, a, a precision when it comes to being focused in, in your own personal vision and following your vision, mm -hmm. and then uh, uh, studying the arts, whatever it is you want to do, mm -hmm. study That's it. Good. You know, do the homework. Uh, be willing to be determined, and uh, being a self motivator. I mm -hmm. would say. Yeah. You know, because yeah. a lot of people won't rally behind you when they don't get it. Mm -hmm. So those are the things, and in, in my opinion, those are the keys to uh, success yeah. and just doing your homework too. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think um, uh, what, what Trina said, just not, thank you, <laughs> uh, not being afraid to do work on yourself. You know, mm -hmm. um, I think a lot of times we place so much value on this is where I want to be, where are we going to go, and all this other stuff. But like, really enjoy who you are becoming and who you are along the journey mm -hmm. as well. So um, uh, I would say, you know, don't be afraid to face yourself. And, and don't be afraid to 
try to figure out who you really are. And if you already know, that's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but keep walking the path of knowing what greatness feels like. Mm. And that's truly knowing who you are and whose you are mm -hmm. and uh, the path that you're walking on. Mm -hmm. So you know, I would say too, work ethic. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I would say um, not being afraid to do the work mm -hmm. um, and consistently all the time, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, and, and being okay with it and being humble with it. Yeah. And then just too, for me, what I'm what I'm learning is um, <clears throat> energy. Yeah. You know, protecting my energy, understanding what's important for me, and being okay with not going with the grain just because of what others think. Mm -hmm. Having my own frame of mind and understanding what is the right thing for me because I'm the type of person that wants to. You know, in the past, I just, well, well, let's try to do this and let's try to gather and do and gather mm -mm. and do. And sometimes when you, you align yourself the with time. the wrong people, mm -mm. it'll drag you down. But you want to help everybody and do mm -hmm. everything and then, it, and then it doesn't benefit. So what I've been trying to do is focus, like mm -hmm. what I said, focus, um, uh, do the work mm -hmm. and not be afraid of doing the work mm -hmm. and protect my energy mm -hmm. and try to stay as positive as I humanly possibly can mm -hmm. because it's tough. I mean, mm -hmm. it's hard to stay positive. So that's the hardest, that's one of the biggest feats in the world. Just mm -hmm. stay positive. So that. Awesome. Awesome. Well, we'll have uh, more questions and answer more of your questions. Uh, so please tweet them at us at Sister Circle TV. We'll be right back. Hey, <laughs>